Hello everyone, welcome to Formula Story. Today I'm going to be discussing a method which will help us to find cube roots of numbers faster than a calculator. So let's begin. Now suppose if you have to find the cube root of 50,653 and I give you like 5 seconds to answer the same. Well if you could find the answer then it's great but if you couldn't then let's look at this method. All you got to do here is focus on the units digit of each cube. 1 cube, the units digit is 1. 2 cube, the units digit is 8. 3 cube, units digit is 7. 4 cube is 4. And so on, 9 cube as units digit of 9. One thing to notice here is, each number has the same units digit as the number itself, except for 2, 3, 7 and 8. So we can see that the units digit of 2 cube is 8, of 8 cube is 2. So 2 and 8 form a pair, right? 2 and 8 form a pair. Similarly, the units digit of 3 cube is 7 and the units digit of 7 cube is 3. So 3 and 7 also form a pair. That's it. For any other numbers apart from 2, 8, 3 and 7, the units digit will be the number itself. So let's look at this number. The cube root of 50,653 we can get by looking at the units digit 3. And as we saw here, that 3 forms a pair with 7. So the cube root of this number will have its units digit as 7. And then what we do is we strike off the last 3 numbers which is 6, 5 and 3. And then what we are left with is 50. Then we find a number which is lesser than 50 and is a perfect cube which as you can see here is 27 and the cube root of 27 is 3 so we will get 3 here which is our answer 37 is the cube root of 50,653 let's look at another example now suppose if I have to find the cube root of 5,51,368 well that's a big number but using this method it will take you like seconds maybe 2 or 3 seconds to find it find the cube root of this number. See, all you got to do here is focus on the units digit. The units digit of this number is 8, right? So as we saw that 8 forms a pair with 2. So the cube root of this number will have its unit digits as 2. Okay, then what we do is we strike off the last 3 number which is 368 and then we focus on this number which is 551 and we find a number which is lesser than 551 and is a perfect cube which is your 512, right? And the cube root of 512 is 8. So, 82. That's our answer. Let's look at another example. Now, suppose if I have to find the cube root of 29791, then as I, as I said previously, you need to focus just on the units digit, which is 1. So, as we know, the cube root of 1 is 1 itself. So, the units digit here for the cube root of 29791 will be 1 only. And then we strike off the last three digits, which is 791. And then we focus on just 29, the number that is left. And we find a number which is lesser than 29 and is a perfect cube. So that's 27. And cube root of 27 is 3. So 31. That's our answer. As simple as that. Let's look at one last example. Now suppose if you have to find the cube root of 2,50,047, then as I said, all you got to focus on is the units digit which is 7 here and we saw here that 3 and 7 form a pair. So the cube root will have its units digit as 3. After we do that, we strike off the last 3 digits which is 0, 4, 7 and we just focus on the remaining number which is 250 here. Then we find a number which is lesser than 250 and is a perfect cube which is 216 here and the cube root of 216 is 6. So 63, that's our answer. As simple as that. So that's it people, I would highly recommend to solve a few more examples using this method to become really efficient at it and I will come up with more interesting videos till then do like my video and subscribe to my channel and kindly post your valuable feedback so that I can improve at my upcoming videos. Thank you.